And this video is about our Nurse Practice Act and the Enhanced Nursing Licensure Compact. This is pretty cool. It's a, it's a uniform licensure requirements for a multi-state license. Now, when you have your um, your graduate nurse, your pre-licensure exam license, it won't be multi-state, but after you graduate, you'll be able to, to work in the, in the compact states because you'll have a multi-state license. And what this does is this this mutual recognition model allows nurses um, with a license in one state to practice nursing in different states as long as they're a part of the nurse practice. I mean, it's the com as long as they're part of the nurse compact. There we go. So um, what this means is that the nurse has to hold one license. They hold one license in their primary state of residence. So if I live in Texas, my primary state of residence is Texas, then that's where my, my license is. If I move to New Mexico, then my primary state State of my primary residence is in New Mexico, then I would need a New Mexico license, right? So if I live in Texas, though, and I have primary, Texas is by my primary state of residence, I have my Texas license, and I want to work in New Mexico without moving there, then I can work in New Mexico without having a license. The trick of it is, is I have to follow the Board of Nursing Rules for New Mexico while I'm working in New Mexico. So if you're working as a nurse on the compact, you just have to remember um, that you have to follow the rules and regs and the Nurse Practice Act of the state that you're working in. And the other thing is that your primary state of residence is always where your primary license is based out of. And check this out, the compact's gotten really big. So you, you're in Texas, New Mexico, Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Louisiana, all the states around us are all compact now. Matter of fact, almost all states are compact now or working on it. So even Hawaii, they have pending legislation. The Virgin Islands, they're awaiting implementation. Alaska's got pending legislation. So almost anywhere in the U.S., if you if you have a... A primary state of residence in Texas, you can work in any of these states as a travel nurse without another license. And pretty soon, these here, too, because they're just not enacted yet. So that's the trick, right? Your primary state of residence is where your primary license is. If you have a primary state of residence in Texas and you want to go work in, in camp in Colorado over the summer, but your primary residence is going to stay in Texas, then... You're good to go. You just have to follow the Colorado rules. But if your primary state of residence is in Texas and you want to go to Nevada, you'll have to get um, another license. You'll have to have a, a licensure by endorsement. So you would have to have both licenses because your primary state of residence would still be in Texas. Right. If you um, if you you had a primary state of residence in Texas and you started, decided to move to Montana, then that would be your new primary residence. And so you would need a Montana license, right? So that's the trick of it. Um, your primary, like I said, your primary state of residence is where your license is based. And then you can, you can work in all these other areas here as long as you follow their rules. So the nurse compact's pretty cool. You can do a lot of fun travel and, and um, see, see the countryside if you want to. And that is the end of the Nurse Compact.